The Nigerian Labour Congress has carpeted the federal government for issuing conflicting statements over the recent increment in electricity tariff. One of the statements issued earlier denied the increase. The Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission had claimed two naira to four naira adjustment in tariff on inflation and movement in foreign exchange rates. But the Minister of Power, Salim Maman, uh, denied rather the increment. The president of the NLC, Ayuba Waba, in a statement faulted the claimed credit, uh, uh, the claim credited to the minister, in which he described media reports on the increase in the cost of electricity by the regulatory agency as untrue. The Kano state government has reverted to the former minimum wage of 18,000 naira for its workers. Spokesperson to the governor, Salihu Tanko Yakasai, said the state government has also stopped the payment of 30,000 naira minimum wage to its workers. Tanko Yakasai said the reason for the action is due to the recession caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. He added that the state is unable to continue paying 30,000 naira because what the state is getting now as a government has reduced. Joining us to discuss this further is the Vice Chairman, Nigerian Labour Congress, Kano State Chapter, Ado Riruwai. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, uh, and good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? Fantastic. Uh, can you please help confirm the report of the state uh, government in Kano reverting to the initial 18,000 naira minimum wage? Is, is this true? And was the NLC also carried along with this decision? Um, well, uh, let me just take you back small. Um, uh, this uh, issue of minimum wage was uh, agreed December last year by the joint uh, negotiative council, uh, and it was implemented immediately same month. So, uh, I mean, 2019. So from there, there wasn't any problem, not until May, during the lockdown period of this uh, COVID, when they started, when they just implemented a revert back to the uh, 18,000 without the consent of the labor. So immediately, we, 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 we hold them to ransom on that issue, whereby we met them and asked them why. Looking at the economic uh, downfall and uh, even the IGR is no longer in place to, to, take, to cover for other things. So we now agree that they should, be, they should just deduct some percentage, little percentage from the staff salary, which they did uh, in the month of uh, June and July. From there, things went back normal, and they continue with the normal payment of the 13,600 minimum wage. Therefore, uh, this happened, nothing else was, was bad until this November, last year, November, when we learn that they just revert back to 18,000 on their own, we now call on, the, on their attention why. They now, they now started telling us that uh, it's because of the economic downfall, blah, 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 which we couldn't understand with them, actually. So they now still deducted on December, the same thing, they, they revert back December salary to that 18,000, which without the concept of the labor, we, 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 we were with them seriously, we were on them for pertaining that issue, up to the day they pay the salary, we did not agree on anything with them. But they go on their own and do that. Oh, but, so, but, I was, yeah. um, let me just ask, do you see reasons with the state government? Uh, they are, of course, uh, blaming the current economic realities caused by the COVID-19 lockdown. Do you, do you think that's a you know, fair reason why the state may not be able to uh, raise enough money to make a 30000 hour minimum wage? Actually, actually, we... The labor side, we didn't see any reason for that. Because even during the recession period, there wasn't anything. See, even this time around, it was the worst ever that happened to the workers and the pensioners in Kanu. You could imagine, even the pensioners, their money was, was deducted. It was deducted. So definitely, they, we didn't see no reason. We didn't see any reason that for, for them to deduct staff uh, salary. There is no reason for that because... The IGR, IGR is, is coming up as usual, and the, the grant does not fall down. So we see no reason why they will start complaining. Uh, besides, what of other states, like Lagos, they even went ahead to pay their staff bonuses uh, during the December time. But why for all that? 
all is it all the the the, the economic problem is it with within Kano only? So to, we right. don't see any reason for that for them to do that. Okay, and of course, so what's the next plan by the Kano State uh, chapter of uh, NLC? And is the national body also being carried along uh, with all of this? Yeah, yeah. Whatever action we took, uh, we 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 tell our we write to our national body. They are fully aware of of all the actions. Even yesterday, there was a serious press conference by the Labour, which uh, actually it was it was a very serious one. Definitely, it will go to them and it will signal them that if they continue with that, they are going to be in a mess. It's going to it's not going to be easy with the both party. So we hope we hope for them that they will do the needful because we cannot condone any other deduction from them again. Uh, how That's are just what I can tell you people? Yeah, um, how are the workers in Kano State coping? Uh, there's a recession. Uh, there's a lockdown. Of course, there's a lot of pressure on on workers uh, currently. How have they been able to deal with these deductions <laughs> and of course a reversal back to eighteen thousand naira? What's what's it like for them? Yes, that is yes, that is what you should. You should, as a human being, that is what we should be thinking. With, with all the kind of hardship, this little salary they have been paid and it's, it's going to be deducted again, it's not, it's uncalled for definitely. People are suffering seriously. Like I've, I've given you an example of pensioners. I, I spoke with a pensioner that collect 5,000 monthly as his pension. That person, 2,000 was deducted from his pension to collect for him to collect 3,000. How could that man? He, he's a family man uh, with, with, with two wives and children. So how could that 3,000, how could he survive? You can see. So definitely people are suffering, the workers are suffering, and you know, once the workers are happy, even the market people will be happy too. So definitely it's, it's not easy for, for the workers. It's not easy. All right, thank you very much for speaking with us. And of course, we uh, look forward to when the Kano State chapter of the NLC makes a decision. We hope that we can speak with you again then. Thanks once again. I hope. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.